Now, as soon as I saw the release pic of this particular piece, I knew I needed to add it into my collection. However, after using it for a couple of days, I think I might have made a mistake. Hi guys and welcome back or welcome let's dive right into this video because it's definitely not the typical video that i like to film however as i do in any first impression or review video i share the good the bad and the ugly so we're gonna get right into it with the rosalie coin purse in the reverse monogram this is a new release that they just brought out not too long ago i think less than a month ago if you caught my New York vlog, I did do a little review or unboxing on that video. Now, the main reason why I wanted to add this new release in particular was one, it does come with a back pocket. I love a good back pocket, whether it's on my handbags or my wallet. However, I will address why I feel like this back pocket has ultimately changed the entire wallet and not in a good way. And the second thing I was so excited for was the reverse monogram. I feel like the reverse monogram in general is such a fun print, especially in a small leather good. Let me quickly start off by saying that the Rosalie coin purse is one of my favorite compact wallets from any luxury, high-end, or contemporary brand. I think it is a great compact wallet that allows you to fit as much as you would typically fit in a continental wallet while allowing you to save space whether you use it in a bigger handbag or in a smaller handbag. However, I will be sharing my first impressions with this reverse monogram Rosalie coin purse and why I ultimately think I made a mistake in this purchase. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you know that I had the Rosalie wallet. I actually had it once, sold it had it previously and just sold it because I added this one. So I am a huge lover of the Rosalie coin purse. So as soon as I saw that they had my favorite wallet in this fun print, I knew that I wanted to add this one into my collection. And for that reason, as soon as I got home from New York, I went ahead and posted up my Rosalie wallet on Instagram in order to sell her because I ultimately didn't feel like I was going to need two of the same wallets in my collection. And I wish I would still have that wallet with me in order to do a more in-depth comparison but she is definitely living her best life with one of you guys now at the moment however i will still sort of insert other clips that i previously had filmed in regards to that wallet i have a ton of different videos comparing the rosalie coin purse to current compact wallets that i own and sharing why i ultimately would always choose the rosalie wallet over any other compact wallet however that has all changed with this new release. The first thing right off the bat that I noticed is that this one is a lot bulkier than the original Rosalie and I think it has to do with two things. First off is the glazing. If you can see here on the back part, the glazing of this wallet is just so much chunkier than the original and at first I couldn't pinpoint why that was exactly but as I was talking to actually one of you guys over on Instagram and my sister-in-law, which also added this piece, you both mentioned that it might have to do with the fact that they did add a back pocket. So now the glazing has to be a little bit thicker in order to hold that extra compartment. And even though it all makes sense, I just feel like it is a little bit too bulky for what you really added. The back pocket is not something that you can probably fit in there like a ton of cards in. You can probably slide one or two cards, which is also a negative thing. I'll get into that in a few. So I really just didn't think that the glazing had to be so, so bulky just to add a extra back pocket. Now, the second reason why I feel like the wallet is just a little bit chunkier overall, and this might be a pro for some of you, but for me in particular, it doesn't feel like a positive whatsoever, is the fact that the canvas just feels so stiff and sturdy, but not in a good way. It almost feels like if it's too plasticky, And as you move the wallet and as you open up this flap here and open up the back pocket to put things in, ultimately in the long run, it might cause some major cracking to the canvas. And honestly, I've never had any of my canvas pieces crack and I've never felt any of my canvas pieces be as stiff as this one feels in particular. One of the biggest concerns that I have in regards to that is that 
this wallet does have a flap opening and every time that I open I feel like as I fully extend the flap in order to get in and out I do think that over time this piece right here might definitely crack now I did have some wear and tear on my previous Rosalie and I knew that that would be just from opening and closing the flap the glazing right here would tend to crack over time and I was okay with that but for this one in particular, it's not just the glazing, but more of the whole flap opening and closing like so. Now, I want to hear from you guys if you have had both of the wallets, the original or the previous style, and now this new release. Have you also picked up on these differences or am I just overthinking it? I have spoken, as I said, to a few of you guys and you have also agreed with me in some of the little things that I have pinpointed. So it makes me feel like I'm not the crazy one here and that these are just things that really they added to the wallet but weren't truly thought through very well I guess and as I was talking to one of you you said it perfectly and it is no longer a Rosalie coin purse it now feels more of a Rosalie compact wallet I wanted to share with you really quick my YSL Cassandra wallet and I have a comparison video on these two and when I compare them side by side, you can totally tell that the Rosalie is a lot slimmer, a lot more compact. However, here, when you put these two side by side, the width of both wallets is almost the same. The Rosalie is just so much wider now up here. And once again, I understand that it has to do with that back pocket. But if I'm honest with you, I would honestly get rid of this back pocket to have the original style of Rosalie back. One thing that I did want to get into in regards to that back pocket is that it is very, very slim. And again, addressing that sturdiness of the canvas, when I do put a card back here, it feels like the glazing kind of folds or pops up in a weird way, which will ultimately just cause it to crack. Another worry that I have for long-term use on this wallet, I will go ahead and pack it up really quick and just share with you all how much more bulkier it becomes once you have it packed. She is completely empty at the moment right now and even so you can still see that she is a little bit wider than the regular Rosalie. But I just want to take a quick minute to share with you guys how much bulkier she becomes once you put all the things inside. Okay, so here she is all packed up and just without having closing her, look how much wider she is right there. And I'm not carrying a huge amount of things. I have three cards right here in the back. I have my ID in the slip pocket. I have a total of one, two, three, four business cards and then two gift cards. I have my credit card of choice in this front slip pocket. In the little zipper compartment, I keep a lucky $2 bill and then a funky little like 100 gold dollar thing that Rudy got for me. And then in the back, I do have my Tesla key. So I just added the typical things that I carry and that I have also added in my other Rosalie when I did have it. But just so you guys can see, Look how much chunkier she is. And then let me close her up. Here is the difference with the YSL. And it's what I'm telling you. I just feel like now, I mean, you said it perfectly. I think it was Autumn that I was talking to. And it is just now a basic compact wallet. It's not a coin purse or sort of like giving you that feel of a card holder that the original one gave off. It's definitely a little bit bulkier, so you do have to play with it a little bit more as to what kind of small handbag you're gonna put her in. And then I just wanted to share that back pocket that I was mentioning. I hope it picks it up, but you can see here how it sort of starts slanting because it obviously has this card here, and that's just with one card. I feel like by you adding more cards in the back pocket here of the wallet, it takes up space from then the outer back pocket. Because if I do remove those cards there, let me show you. It kind of feels a little bit more malleable and it doesn't pop out as much. So definitely if you feel, it's kind of like the Pusha Matisse that you know how it has that very slim back pocket in the back. I have her here. <laughs> so 
with the push and matisse a lot of people complain about that that if you do add things in this very slim pocket that you have here it takes away from this pocket here just because it's constructed in the same sort of like canvas slab or canvas piece that you can see here however that's not the case with the rosalie the rosalie i think consists of two different canvas pieces you can see that it does have the regular monogram that goes all throughout and then you have the flap with the reverse monogram so i don't feel like this piece here consists of just one canvas piece i actually feel like they used two canvas pieces to construct the back hence why the glazing is so thick and also why it ultimately just makes the wallet look so much bulkier i hope i'm making sense you guys i i'm trying to explain it the best way that i can but honestly i just feel like the rosalie coin purse has had a whole makeover and in my opinion it hasn't been for the positive so question of the day is do i ultimately regret buying this one and it is a 99 percent yes that one percent is no because i love the reverse monogram look of it as i said i just feel like the reverse monogram is such a fun print to add especially into a small leather good i love pairing it with my push up matisse i love having a little matchy matchy moment but overall as the wallet that i ultimately fell in love with and just recommended so much as like the perfect compact wallet to carry this doesn't do that for me anymore this is basically just another good small wallet that i have in my collection my recommendation to you is if you are considering adding the rosalie coin purse i don't say not to add it i stick with my original thoughts that it is a, a great compact wallet but i would highly highly recommend that you steer towards the original style as i have pointed out throughout this video i just feel like all the differences that they made in order to just add that back pocket in the back doesn't make sense and doesn't really make me happy long term for the wear and tear of this piece i won't be getting rid of it i will be keeping it because i do like the combination of the reverse monogram it's also going to allow me to use this one and be able to give you guys a more thorough review as time goes by However, do I ultimately think I will be adding the regular Rosalie for a third time into my collection? Absolutely. My husband is going to kill me when he sees this video, but I do definitely want to add the original back into my collection just because I feel like that is the perfect compact wallet for any luxury collection out there. However, this time around, I think I might actually opt for the Empreinte version. I have been wanting to add a Empreinte piece into my collection. So I might wait for a nice fun pop of color to come out and potentially add that one in the future. Let me know your thoughts down below. As I said, if you have both, what do you think about it? Are you picking up on those differences as well? As always, thank you guys for taking some time out of your day to watch today. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, please consider subscribing. I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.